I want to thank you both for coming. I apologize for raising my hand, but I just found out my roommate checked down. I have 15 minutes to get my stuff out of the room. Uh, two questions. Uh, when I write, I write post for, prose format. I don't make any notes. I just write and write and write to get all my thoughts out. Then I go back and edit and adjust grammar and things such as that. My problem is sometimes I'll have in my head these great points of action, drama, things I want to read or pick up on, and it's the moments in between. It's like, I need character development, but it's crap. How do I fill in the how do I fill in the in between moments with good character building in between the dramatic moments? And also, a good friend of mine lives in the UK, Chris McFeely, recently did an audio drama on YouTube with Megatron and Bravage, which I thought was absolutely awesome. Can IDW be doing audio books and maybe get him and other fans that are good with their voices to do actual audio books of the comics because that was an awesome reading if no if no one's heard it it's, it's, it's just perfect to my to my ears mm. um so so two 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 questions there i'll take the the, the, the latter one first i mean I, I don't i don't i don't think idw has any plans they may do that, that i don't know about them but i don't think they've got any plans for um for audio books i have heard um chris's rendition and it is very very impressive and i know that um as a fan project, um, Audio Nights, I think, that have recently started uh, dramatizing World Meets the Eye, issue by issue, and they've, they're sort of involving a mixture of, you know, of enthusiastic amateurs and, and people with, with some experience in, in voice acting. Um, and I haven't heard them yet, but I, I know they're sort of getting a lot of good, good you know, word of mouth suggests they're doing something very nice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, um, and, and it's it's good to hear. I mean, I I, I clicked on that um, recording that Chris McFeely did of, of Megatron and Ravage. It's an issue thirty two, I think, um, and it's just a duologue because they're talking about Megatron's defection, aren't they? To, you know, well, Megatron's becoming an Autobot, um, and um, and I, I was I was there was a, with a sense of trepidation that I clicked on it, not not because I thought that Chris Chris would do a bad job. I just thought, is is my dialogue when delivered? You know by an actor is it is it going to stand up and uh, <laughs> the cringe moment yeah yeah um where does this story end and i was pleased i i, I was it you know chris did a good job and i i like to think the dialogue stood up but i mean that's it's an interesting actually that's the point at which it's you know it's written for one medium and it's it, it becomes you know it's, it, it moves into a different medium anyway um i i will you know i i, I don't know if idw have got anything planned although um i think it's a good idea as for your other question, um, I mean, I would say that really you almost the, the, the moments of action and incident um, should, should happen organically after you've decided what the, what the characters are going to be and what their motivations are. And, and, and neither of us have said the word journey yet, but there we go. We, I have now. You know what their journey is going to be. It's, it's more a case of, you know, the, the, the points of conflict, those scenes that, that, that Bob talked about earlier, they, they should happen. Um, because of the, the direction in which the characters are heading and, and the, uh, the the way in which they interact with each other, I would say, um, and because what you're describing almost sounds like um, an, an attempt at reverse and re reverse engineering it from you know the big set pieces or the, or the, the big moments, um, and then having to work out how people get to them. I don't know. What, what do you think? It sounds like the kind of thing that I'd need to read to sort of assess. But I would think that you're on the right track if you're just sort of, blah, putting every word down, just sort of like, just, 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 you know, don't overthink it, just write down what's on your mind and then refine it later. Mm -hmm. um, I, I got that you thought that, you know, when you're, the, the first draft that you're writing, uh, sometimes the stuff that you're writing isn't very good, but you're just getting it on paper. That's the art of writing. You can't, you can't, you can't take nothing and make it great. And when you sit down to write, it's not going to come out great. And if you wait until you're in that place where you know that it's going to come out right the first time, it's not going to happen for you. You have to write it bad and then make it good. So, um, you know, be fearless. Just, you know, get it on paper. And you all know that you can fix it later. Are you, are you writing with an end point in mind? I mean, have you got... Have you have you worked basically? Have you worked out the story and where and where how you want Some, to? Use? Sometimes I do. Sometimes it, the story grow, it goes in directions that I'm not planning. Yeah. But it's because of ideas that I get while I'm writing, and then it just sort of just this is nice. This is better. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and and there are, and, and that's people will often say that you know the as they get into the the characters that they take on a life of their own, and so you end up in a different position, which is which is great. But I mean, I'm thinking, 
this is, I think, this is a discipline I've had to learn when writing the comics. Is you know, you, structure, structure is is so, you know, it's sort of structure, 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 and then, 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 you, then you can work out that, that you know, then, then it's dialogue, then it, then it's character interaction and things. But you know, I need, I need, and so, and sometimes that structure will change. But I need to know what what are what are the big story beats? Um, what's 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 the climax? What's the point of the story? Um, like the framework, the scaffolding, and then then you can go back and start filling in the details. Yeah. It is all about structure. Uh, I'd recommend reading Aristotle's The Poetics. It's really simple. It breaks it down to the most elementary terms. All stories involve beginning, middle, and end. All stories involve a, a rising tension. All stories involve a recognition scene, a moment of truth, where a character realizes something about themselves that they either didn't know before or were afraid to acknowledge. Mm. And, and, and it represents an incredible sort of moment of growth. Uh, so read, read, read the poetics and you'll get how stories should be structured. Uh, and it is all about structure. Uh, if you don't know how your story is going to end, then you shouldn't begin it. Uh, um, because it's kind of like getting in your car and driving crazily, you're going like 70 miles an hour. If someone were to stop you and say, where are you going? And you'd be like, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> There's a good chance you're insane. So, um, you know, have an idea of where you're going. Structure your story. Structure it as tightly as you possibly can. Really work out the structure. And then be prepared to sort of deviate from that if the characters of the story start taking you in a different direction. But if you have the spine of your story and you know where the story's supposed to go, then you can always do a course correction to make sure you wind up where you were meant to go. Don't don't let yourself get taken so far afield that you no longer know where you're going anymore because that that way can oftentimes, you know, therein lies madness. Yeah. Or lost. TV <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <We have. laughs> or lost, yeah.